My name is Kaushik. Hi, I'm Wang Ming. I'm going to answer some of the most searched for questions about the environment. What can I do to help protect and restore nature? I think we all have a role to play in reversing the effects, man-made effects that we've had on nature. And the biggest thing that uh, people can do today is first to be aware of how human beings have affected nature and what are the solutions out there that can help. Because the biggest problem we've had for the longest time is lack of awareness. But nobody knew what the problems were and how they could solve them. So first thing is awareness and what you're doing right now, watching this video is the first thing. And the second thing is to then find out how you can be part of this cause because the only way these solutions can scale and that we can make a difference over the next 10 years is together and we need as many bright and talented people across different sectors to join hands to solve these problems. How does climate change impact farming? Every year uh, for farmers it was the weather that decided whether they succeeded or failed. You need to have rains come on time, you need the right temperatures, you need pest attacks to be in the right levels and you need access to water. So all of those things which the weather affects are getting more and more erratic over time and therefore smallholder farming has become much more risky. Uh, I like to say for a lot of the smallholder farmers in India, hard work does not pay. What causes desertification? Desertification is the uh, natural land, it turns into uh, sand. It might be climate reasons and it can be also caused by overgrazing or overpopulation People make too much use of the land, so it's desertified. Thus, the effects of desertification, we have been to uh, different places in the world which are affected by desertification. And you see, people there are affected by sandstorm. Uh, their houses are occupied by sand, so they have to move to uh, new places. And uh, uh, the Arab land is covered by the desertified sand, so they cannot grow crops and uh, the environment is very bad. Uh, yes, we can do something. To, to help ecosystems damaged by climate change. You see, our solution is called desert agricultural transformation. We turn the discrete sand into uh, natural soil-like properties. So it, it will be suitable to, for the growth of different kinds of plants to restore nature. And this year, more desertified land will be soilized, will be transformed into uh, favorable habitat for the growth of plants. Uh, it can be used to grow crops for humans and it can be used to grow grasses, forage grasses for husbandry. So different kinds of applications. So we are very proud of our solution. What is mainly farmed in India? Over the last 50 years, we had something called the Green Revolution in India after which most people started consuming either rice or wheat. So a big part of southern India and some parts of you know, northern India grew rice and the rest of the farmers mainly grew wheat. There's a lot of smaller crops, but these are the two biggest crops that farmers grow. How can I support smallholder farmers? I think the first step is to just be aware of the food value chain. Think about the effort that is taken to get to our table. But the second piece is in terms of giving overall support to smallholder farmers is that there are a lot of causes that are focusing, like ours, that are focusing on supporting smallholder farmers become more resilient, increase their incomes, move their livelihoods into the middle class, uh, creating awareness about those, and also finding time to give your effort, mind space, and your you know, time to those would be the way to support smallholder farmers the most.